Hello, you wonderful people on YouTube. Today, we're going to do something absolutely crazy because this is something that people want to do is we're going to use super bass with Strappy. Why is this crazy? Just because it is, right? The point is Strappy is a thing that you use if you want to create APIs fast, you want to have an amazing admin area, and you want to handle your data. When you do do that, the way you deploy that, you're able to deploy it to places like digital ocean render and when you do that you want to make sure that you set up your image provider which you could do through cloudinary aws but when you're setting up your database you want to do it within that same environment so if you deploy your application to render you would set up a way to deploy your node application, but then you would also set up a Postgres database. If you were doing it on the Heroku, you would do the same thing. But some people just want to use Superbase, which is database as a service, which also gives you an end API endpoint to get your data with Strapi, which makes zero sense. But because it makes zero sense, we're we going to do just that because, you know, why not? So let's dive into it, I guess. So let's take a look on scenario number one, not crazy. You have your front-end application, could be React, Remix, or Next.js. A user of your application could be talking to your front-end, and your front-end is getting data from your Strapi application, and your Strapi application and your database live close by, so that connection is quick, and typically you will host both in the same place, like your Node.js project and your database are going to be hosted on the same server and so or in the vicinity of it so when you get an application set on render typically you would host your node project and your postgres database in the same place you would do the same thing in heroku you would even do that the same thing in the digital ocean and by the way if you're looking for the best way to deploy strapi i would suggest using strapi cloud strapi cloud allows you to deploy your application literally within five minutes you get your database you get your file provider and you get email included out of the box and you get an amazing place to manage all your strapi projects now, the question you have to ask, what do you have more of? More time to mess around with DevOps or do you wanna just pay for the service and get it done? For me, I hate doing all this DevOps stuff. I don't really care about tinkering with servers and just this process that we're gonna to do today, I don't wanna do it. I'm just gonna do it for you anyway because I know somebody's like, I wanna deploy my application without a credit card and do everything for free. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But for me, if I was freelancing and working with clients, I would not deal with any of that. Like time is money, money is time. You hear it all the time. To me, it really makes sense. I suck at all that other stuff, so I don't wanna worry about it. So I'm just gonna use Strapi Cloud and focus on building my project to deliver the service to my clients. But you have to make that decision, but I just wanna give you my opinion. So this is still not crazy. You have your user, they're interacting with your front-end application, could be Remix, Next.js, View, whatever you want. In your front-end application, it's making requests to your Superbase service, which has its own API endpoints, and you're able to do the full CRUD functionality, including authentication, and the communication is straightforward. Your front-end talks to your Superbase and back. So still not crazy. Now let's look at silly crazy. Let's do it. So this is what super crazy looks like. I don't even wanna talk about this, but you have your front-end application that your user interacts with. Your front-end application, the only place it gets data is by calling your Superbase API. But how do you get data into your Superbase database? Well, you use Strapi to manage its content. So an editor logs into Strapi, whatever changes they do, it goes into Superbase, then your front-end makes call to Superbase, and then like, this is really dumb, like, no. No, like either use Superbase or use Strapi. Don't use both. I just, just do this instead. Like remove this, you know, remove this, take this, put it here, make this arrow like this because I have OCD. We're going to make it like this. And this arrow goes here and this arrow goes here. That's it. That's it. Use one or the other. But today for the sake of the video, or it's fun to play around and try different things. And also if you wanna set something up without using credit card, this is one option to go. So I'm gonna show you today how to set up Strapi with Superbase for both your database and image provider. But it's not something that I recommend, but let's do it anyway. 
The only cool part about this approach is that you could set up this without needing a credit card. You could create a render account, not have to add your credit card, and you could do the same thing with Superbase. So what I want you to do is go ahead and create a render account and log in with your GitHub. So I already have the account created and I already have my dashboard. We're gonna create a new project. Don't worry about this. Uh, this is my previous project for building. We also wanna create a Superbase account login. You would not need a credit card. Again, Again, I already have a project, but we're going to create a whole brand new one just so you could see it. And instead of having to set up Strapi from beginning, what we're going to do, we're going to use a project that I already created here. And all you need to do is just go to Paul not from Strapi because I'm not from Strapi and slash strappy dash base and you're going to get this repo and what you're going to do is click code i already have github installed on my cli to make it easier to pull stuff but you could do whatever way you want i'm going to go ahead and copy this command and inside my terminal i'm going to paste that and i'm just going to call it something else i'm going to say this is silly and I'm gonna click enter. So let it clone the repo. I'm using node 18. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to CD into this, this is silly. And I'm going to run yarn to install everything. Once everything is done, we're gonna run yarn build and yarn develop. This is gonna do its thing. And most likely it's gonna fail. And that's because we did not add our environmental variables, which is fine. So you're going to have an issue which says Superbase URL is required. So let's open this in our code editor. And inside your code editor, you're going to see your project. Like I mentioned, we already set up our configuration in their plugins. We added our configuration for our Superbase provider. And on the database, we added our Postgres configuration for all the items we wanna use. And you'll see this example.env file that's going to have a bunch of things that we have to add. So go ahead, copy this and create a new file. And we're gonna call it .env and paste that inside. So now what we need to do is we need to set up our Superbase so we could add all of the information that we need. So inside your Superbase dashboard, you're gonna say create a new project. I'm gonna use the same organization that I have here and I'm gonna give it a name, Superbase. That's going to be the name of our database. Uh, make sure you generate a good password. And I'm gonna destroy this after this video, so I'm not worried that I'm gonna show you your credentials. We're going to paste our password here that we're going to use in a little bit. So inside Superbase, once everything here is great, we're gonna click create new project. So we're just gonna wait for this to finish up for us. Once it's done, I'll show you the next step. Once our project is deployed, let's go first to our storage and we're gonna create a new bucket. We're gonna call it Superbase. You wanna make sure that you make it a public access. Very important, otherwise the strappy Superbase provider will not work. Click save. This is gonna go ahead and create our bucket. We also want it to point to a specific folder. So click create folder and we're gonna call it files and click enter. So now let's go ahead and replace all of our ENV variables so we could connect to our Superbase database and file provider. On the Superbase, navigate to settings, under database, scroll down until you see connection string. Go ahead, select Node.js and copy your connection string. Once you have your connection string, let's add it here under database URL. You're gonna see this area where we wanna replace our password. So let's take our previously generated password and replace it here. Now that our Superbase database configuration is all set, let's work on modifying our Superbase provider settings. Since we called our bucket Superbase, I'm gonna put it here and we created files directory. So I'm gonna call it files. Now let's go find our Superbase API URL and our API key. In Superbase, under API, go ahead and copy your URL. And we're gonna put our full URL under Superbase API URL. Now for our Superbase URL, we're just gonna copy the URL without the HTTPS and the slashes. And finally, let's get our Superbase API key. We're gonna scroll down. Here's our project API key. Click copy and make sure you enter. 
Once everything's all set, let's run Yarn Develop to start our project. This is gonna start our project with all of our new settings that we just provided. Once we click enter, let's let it go. It's gonna give us this warning, it's perfectly fine. Once everything's all set, you're going to have this admin screen. So go ahead and create your user. Paul Bratz, Paul Bratzlavsky at strappy.io. If you'd like to send me an email, monkey123 exclamation point is a good password for our local database and click let's start. Now we're running our local instance of Strapi, but we are connected to our Superbase database. We could take a look, but going to our Superbase, clicking on their tables, and we see all of our tables here. This is coming from Strapi. So let's go ahead, add a new blog entry, because we don't have any right now. In my Strapi application on the content manager, let's go create a new entry, and we're gonna say first post and say, hello world. We're gonna skip the image for now. I'll show you why. So go ahead, click save and click publish. This is gonna go ahead and save our post. If we take a look under our super base, notice we could see our data. Now to get the image provider to work, there's one more step we have to do. So navigate to your storage, create super base bucket, and here under policies, click it and go create a new policy. We're gonna say full customization. We're gonna say public. You could name it whatever you want. We're gonna click select, insert, update, and delete. And the most important part, you wanna set Anon as your role. Once everything is done, click review. It looks good. Click save policy. Now you should be able to go to your content manager under media library. Let's test the file upload. I'm gonna click browse files and I'm gonna take this awesome cat image. I'm gonna click open, click upload assets. And here we are, this file has uploaded. Now, one thing that I wanna show you, the reason why we're able to see this here, there's one extra step that I didn't show you, but it's included in your project. So in our code editor, if we navigate to middlewares, notice how I have the strappy security. And here I'm referencing our Superbase URL that says, hey, it's okay to show our media files from our Superbase hosted instance. And that's located in your middlewares.js file. I included this for you because usually the security policy is not set up. So if you're trying to replicate this and you didn't use this project, this is something to keep in mind. So now let's go to our content manager Let's go to our blog post. Let's make sure we add the image that we downloaded it. Click finish and save. Now when you go to your Superbase instance and you click on our Superbase bucket under files, you see that we have our files uploaded to Superbase. So this is really awesome. We have our local Strapi instance running the Superbase database and Superbase buckets, which is amazing. Now let's go ahead and deploy our application to render so you could show your project to everyone to see. So now our final step is to deploy our application to render. I went ahead and deleted all my previous projects just so it's easy to see. We're gonna click new and we're gonna click web service. Now we wanna deploy from Git repository. So you wanna make sure that you save this project to your own repo. You could go to GitHub, click new, and I'm gonna call it test deploy strappy base. And I'm gonna click create repository. So if you clone my project, make sure that you point it to your own repo. I'm gonna show you an easy way to do this. So an easy way to fix this, just go ahead and do rmrf.git. That's gonna remove my git file to my project that you cloned. And now paste in the code from GitHub, click enter. This is gonna go ahead and set up your own repository. Now type git add and do git status to see all of our changes. Do git commit message and say initial commit and do git push. That's gonna go ahead and push your project to your GitHub. Now that I refresh, you could see that I have my project here with everything that I need. Now I'm gonna make sure that I remember the name. Inside render, we're going to say click next. And here's our repo that I wanna to connect to. I'm gonna click connect. I'm gonna call it test, branch is main. This is perfectly fine. We're going to select free. It's not gonna ask for a credit card, which is perfect. And we're going to click on advance because we wanna add all of our variables here. Copy all of these variables and add them into your project. So I'm gonna do this behind the scenes so you don't see me typing. You don't need to include host or the port, just starting with the API keys. Make sure you enter all your variables. So I'll be back in just a moment. 
Once you entered all your API keys, make sure that everything is correct and the spelling is correct because typically when something goes wrong with the deployment, it's because something somewhere here, you misspelled something. Once you're done, go ahead, click on create web service and it's gonna go ahead and start the deployment process. Now, because this is a free tier, it is going to take some time. And while this is deploying, let me just tell you about what we did today. So today we took a look how to set up Strapi with Superbase. Is it recommended? No, it is not. I wouldn't use this in production, but if you're just starting out and you wanna deploy a project for absolutely free without using a credit card, this is one way to do it. We talked at the beginning of the video why this is not recommended, but I'd still want to share with you the fact that you can. And that's one interesting thing about programming and development in general. Just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should. And maybe there's 1% use case where this makes sense, but majority of the time, either just just use Strapi or just use Superbase, but don't just use both. But if you're learning and you just want to set something quick for absolutely free and you're not worried about production, you don't care if it runs really slow because you're using free tier. Anytime you're using something for free, it's going to come with some issues, which you will see. Um, so whenever you're working in production, me personally, I just deploy my Strapi application to Strapi Cloud, but you could decide your own solution. But if you're just messing around, you want to build something cool, you want to show it to all your friends, and you wanna do it for free, this is one way to do it. So let's check on our deployment. So this actually finished way faster than I anticipated. So you can go ahead and see your live website that's now living out in the public that you could showcase your app to everybody else. When you click on it, it takes you to your Strapi application. You can do slash admin. And because we're using that same Superbase database, it should be the same user that we used to create our account previously at strapi.io. And then I'm gonna type in my password and make sure that you do use a secure password because this is out in the public. So maybe monkey1234 is not a good one. Once you log in, you will be greeted with your dashboard and you could see all your content. What's cool, this project is now live on the internet and I could go ahead and create a new entry. I'm going to say second post. We're going to say hello again and I'm going to refresh our slug here. I'm going to upload a new image. I'm going to add more assets, some browse files. Let's add another cat here. That's a sexy cat. Let's click upload one asset to library. It's finished. I'm going to click save and publish. Once everything is published, you could go to your database, refresh, and here you could see the file that we just uploaded. If you go to your table editor, you could go on the blog post and you could see, here we go, here's a second post. So really awesome. Our application is living in the wild online. Just like I said before, just because you can't do something doesn't mean that you should. But for fun, we did it anyway. I hope you learned something today. And if you like what I do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. If not, that's cool too. And let me know in the comments what other videos you want me to make in the future. But with that being said, I love you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.